All right, so on this slightly gray and drizzly day, I'm back at Albany Highway to do the walk from Sullivan Rock to Mononox campsite, traversing Mounts Cuthbert and Vincent. I'm just waiting for a friend, but hopefully we'll be able to get going soon. And hopefully the weather holds up. We'll see how we go. Okay, so we're getting started now. We just crossed Albany Highway. My friend Bonnie is here. Hello. And straight away, what's really cool is that you wouldn't be able to tell from the highway, but there's just a massive granite feature just on the other side of this little stretch of forest that we have here. Right, so we have just cleared Sullivan Rock and we are now heading to the junction with the Bibbulmun track. Now, a common mistake people make with this is that they turn right. Turning right takes you towards Mount Cook, which you don't want to be doing. If you come to this junction, just remember, look to the left and follow. There's a bit of single track and that single track will take you towards Monat Knox. That way. We are now in the saddle between Vincent and Cuthbert and this area used to be really awesome. It used to be just filled with these beautiful she-oak and quite mature jarrah. But the bushfire, while I think it's probably made Vincent a bit nicer because it's a bit clearer, this is really very sad looking, very dead, blackened, burnt jarrah. Not my favourite kind of forest I have to say.
Okay, so we are now at the summit of Mount Cuthbert, which is probably, I reckon, the nicest of the three summits that are along the Bibbulmun. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to just take a moment and enjoy the views because I think you really do always need to stop and take this all in and then we'll descend towards Monat Knox hut. Okay, so we are down from the summit of Mount Cuthbert. It was pretty uh, up and down weather-wise up there. It went, uh, suddenly had just a heavy downpour and then went back to nothing in like, you know, under 10 minutes. This section here leads to Monat Knox campsite and it's pretty easy going through, you know, the forest is okay. It's not, not as burnt as the other area, but not exactly pristine old growth either. So here we've got a few easy Ks. And then we'll have a bit of a break at Mononox. Okay, so we have made it to Monat Knox campsite. So this is one of the Bibbulmun track huts. So we are gonna have a bit of a break while the rain passes through and looks like it won't be for too long. And then we'll head up and see if we can get a good view from the top of Mount Randall. So of course, just our luck, as we're doing this, it started to rain and uh, the trail's also a little bit less clear than I remember it being. But the only ever, other time I've ever done this, we were coming through an off track bit that led from Mount Randall to Mount Knox, but hopefully we're on the right path. So definitely something to consider. I think only do this if you're someone who is pretty good with navigation. was Sullivan Rock to Monad Knox campsite with a side trip to Mount Randall. It's about 15 k's all up I think returned if you're going back across the mountain range. We are doing it a slightly different way. We're taking Herald Road back which is a flat and easy way to get back to the car park. Really enjoyable walk. You know Perth is a pretty flat place so a walk with three granite peaks definitely something special for the area. 